Hello, I'm Jay with American Holster Company. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, my outside the waistband holsters. Uh, there's some things about my holsters that are very difficult to understand in just pictures, so I thought I'd share a little bit about what I do and how I do it with you about the outside waistband holsters. I'm going to start out with my paddle holster. The paddle holster is, uh, let's start with just the paddle. The paddle itself is 100% leather. Um, it's not a plastic paddle, and that way um, it allows for this paddle to form to your body. So you'll see that once you start wearing it, it's going to take the shape of your body where you typically wear it. makes for a much more comfortable paddle. So that's number one when it comes to uh, my paddle holster. Number two on my... Uh, my holsters that uh, most people don't know is I'm going to show you some pieces of a paddle holster that I'm putting together right now for a customer. And I want you to see that this is the back side of the reinforcement tab or the reinforcement piece on the, the for the pocket of the holster. And of course the front here. Now I want you to notice that I dyed both sides of this leather even though you will never see this back side. It's going to be glued and sewn to the holster itself which is also dyed inside and out so there are no surfaces of this holster that I don't put a little bit of dye to and a little extra attention to and that's just to ensure that you get a good quality product one of the other things that I want you to know about my paddle holsters that, that is uh, unique to American Holster Company paddle holsters I want you to notice right here this is the back side of the reinforcement tab and you'll see these two little notches and these are where the Chicago screws are going to be uh, located in this and uh, if you notice they move and what happens there is that allows that paddle to be attached to that that reinforcement tab and then this of course is already going to be sewn to the the holster itself so this is a whole lot different once you see it but what it allows it to do is be fully adjustable for camp so it's either forward or reverse can't allows you to wear this at the the two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock position if you're right-handed it also allows for you to carry this in a cross draw and allows for a, a comfortable carry where you don't have to worry about the gun pushing up if you put your leg against it or anything like that so it's something special that I've done with my paddle holster that's made it completely different than some of the others that are on the market um, the other thing that I want to talk to you about today is my uh, high ride holsters. Now, my high ride holsters um, are are completely different in a lot of aspects. First of all, it has a pocket for the gun, and then it has a back plate that attaches to the belt. Now, all high ride holsters should have two belt loops to uh, allow the belt to go through it. But I want you to take a look here and notice that this high ride is the back plate for a high ride holster that hasn't been dyed yet. But I want you to look at the back side of this and notice that now there's actually a third loop here. And this third loop allows for it to be held very tight to your body and ensures that the gun is not going to ever tilt or, or twist. Another thing I want you to notice is that this is actually two pieces. This unit, after it's dyed, and has dried will be glued and then sewn together and that ensures that you have good quality stiff leather that's going to hold the gun tight and it's also going to give you a good side against your body and against the gun I do the same thing with the pocket that the gun goes into you have your back plate with the good side you have your front plate with the good side and then I also create the reinforcement piece on a separate piece. This is a thicker piece of leather than the rest, and it just ensures that the gun or the holster itself will stay open and you don't have to worry about that retention. All this would then be glued and sewn as well and then formed around the particular gun that you asked for. Now, you've seen on the website the, this particular holster. This was actually the prototype for my high ride holster. This was made for a J-frame. Um, I want you to notice first and foremost that it was the, the piece that I just showed you. This is that front pocket. It gets molded to the gun. As you can see, there's the pocket and there's the back plate. So it would be like this on, on your, your um, 
belt. It has the third loop in the middle, holds it tight and secure. Also has a cutout here, so that instead of having, when you draw your firearm, having to clear all the way up to here, which means that you would be off balance by the time you cleared this because it rides so high on your body. You only have to draw to here before you can start to present the firearm. Some of the advantages of a high ride holster made from uh, American Holster Company. Uh, this holster is very rigid. It, you could stand on this and not collapse it. It holds the firearm very, very tight. Um, extremely tight to your body. Extremely tight in the holster, but very easy to draw and present if you need to. So those are some of the features of my holsters. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can submit the question through the website on the comments section. Or you can email me at j.nelson at AmericanHolsterCompany.com. Thank you.